the Lord. Praise 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 the Lord. In order to grow together and push forward, we must first see being together through the light of the scripture. So growing together, we got to see being together in the way it is stated in the word of God. And in the word it says, in Psalms 133, 1, it says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And it says, in unity. And the Lord let me see how we can dwell together sometimes. I mean, we're coming together, but dwelling together in unity is the key. So in order to grow together, you have to be together in unity. Dwell together in unity. So I looked up dwell, and dwell says one's home, live, have one's residence, be settled, stay, hang out. You ever hung out with somebody? Hang one's hat. I have a statement when I'm preaching. I'm saying, we're going to hang our hat right there. Meaning, I'm going to focus right here. I'm just going to zero in on this point right here. Put together in unity. So, when you dwell together, that means you're able to look over all the small this and that. You're able to put whatever needs to be put to the side in order to continue together. The best thing that I can think about is a marriage. In a marriage, my mom used to say, two for two on fall out, but they still in the same amount, right? So, we got to be able to dwell together. Growing together. Now, unity is being together or at one with someone or something. It is the opposite, opposite of being divided. Unity. I was uh, thinking about a moment when I was in a very vice divided, feeling something, and I was just, you know, God can get you straight, even if you have to use a fortune, then you can do it. So I was sitting there, and I was really liking this being separated thing that I was feeling. And when I opened my fortune uh, uh, cookie, it says, cooperation is better. I said, Lord. See, when you got the Holy Ghost, it'll make you cooperate. When you got the Holy Ghost, it will make you cooperate when you don't feel like cooperating. Hallelujah. It'll make you be on one accord when you don't feel like being on one accord. So in order to grow together, we got to be in one mind on one accord. Now, it says growing, undergoing natural development by increasing in size and changing physically. Increasing in size. So I look at it like this. We see the crowd that we see here this year. Next year, this size should do what? Go. So that means we need to purpose in our heart that I'm not just going by myself. I'm going to bring somebody with me. So increasing in size. Becoming greater over a period of time. Growing together. So now, this is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, having therefore uh, these promises dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of the Lord. That's the only way we're going to be able to grow together. If we cleanse ourselves from all the filthiness of the flesh and the spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of the Lord. Now, this is my last statement. It says, these are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation. Noah walked with God. So in order for us to walk together, to push forward, let's get everything out of the atmosphere that's not conducive for growth. Starting with me, the Bible says the husband and his wife first partake of the fruit. So in order for us to grow together in unity, we need to cleanse ourselves, we need to wash ourselves, we need to get out everything that is the opposite of unity. How good, how pleasant it is for brother. 